Little job. Drain your cells, dudes. Now, it just took me two minutes to go and get the camera to uh, to turn the video on and it's still going. So it just goes to show how much water these things retain. I'll keep it on there for a little while just to see how much water's in there, but that's quite terrifying, isn't it, really? I mean, they do get blocked very, very easily, so yeah, look out for that. I'm going to check the others. Still going, can't believe it. Everything that is broken today can be fixed. Yeah, morning. Um, this is part four of my build. Um, we're going to be sorting out that leak. Do you remember that leak I showed you at the start of the video? Um, I'm going to show you how to take them off, um, fix them all up, put some sicker flex around the little bits and pieces and all that lot, and, and get it watertight. Um, I've got. Um, if I can turn this thing round, which I can't. Bloody useless, I'm never gonna get this. If you look in them holes, look. Yeah, these little things here. Yeah. <sighs> Sorry about that. They're what keep the plastic trims on. And there are there are big holes there. Well, why I don't know. I say if you watch other videos, you'll see. Um, I think it's a bit of a design flaw, really. So uh, I'm going to show you how to get them off, and um, uh, I'm going to go from there. It is flipping freezing this morning. Uh, it was a lovely clear night. First, first flipping clear day I had yesterday for what? It must have been a week and a half. Uh, I've got the fire on. Uh, it's not doing a lot at the moment because it's still really cold, but uh, um, you got to crack on with it, so uh, we're going to crack on with it. Okay, pair of grips, nice and gentle, and just try and ease, just squeeze right inside. It should pop out. There you go. Um, it is easier if you've if your van is empty. Right. I've got some sicker flex, which I'm going to put round. I'm going to put round these, yeah, before they go in. And I've got these little discs, right? Uh, there's only two, so I'm going to put some sicker flex around them. All that is is milk carton, right? I went to blooming hobby craft to try and find some vinyl and ugh, more trouble than it's worth. And then I found some milk carton and it's it's plastic, so it ain't it's not gonna rot or anything, and it will just cover up that all nice. So that's what we're using, man. Right, I'm gonna go and give these a wash. Basically the easiest way to do this. It's just to wipe it down. They're only plastic. Um, the important thing is, is um, you get the crap off, and they got to be dry as well. So, and in this weather, it really ain't. I chose a crap time to do this. I really did, but um, still, fun, 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 as they say. Um, I think I do, I'm quite envious of people that have got garages. 
And if you've got like a warehouse or a workplace where you can, you know, sit inside and take your time and stay in the warm and stuff like that, it's, it's, it's an advantage. Because although I am really enjoying this, and there's no getting away from it, um, it is unpleasant when it's freezing cold because your hands are cold. You can't put gloves on because this is quite sort of delicate work. So um, you're sort of in a catch-22. That's why I've got this stupid hat on because my I've got no hair and um, my hair's getting cold. It's, uh, still, still. The wife's in the warm. Having a cup of tea. She has, brought, she has brought me one out though, so good for her. Okay, that's the last one. This grubby little thing. <laughs> okay. Right, so they're all done. What we've got to do now is clip these back in. these back into these um, it is fairly simple I think they just pop in like that yeah that's it that's all you do literally If you get someone to sort of squeeze these as, I, as I'm around the other side, because they, they do come out easier. Uh, this is Jake, by the way. Hi. <laughs> he's, he's my helper for today. So, uh, yeah, we're going to go around there and sort that out. He looks like Jesus. Okay, so, got my little disc, stick it on. Make sure that's sealed all the way around. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is probably a bit of overkill, but prevention's better than it all rusting away. So, uh, yeah. So, I just need to sick of flex all these little things and we'll shove it back on. Another good idea, any spray, whatever spray you're using, um, stick it in up water for five minutes. It does tend to come out much better than uh, what it does. My wife's out shopping, so she, she ain't seen what I'm doing. So there you go. Hot water, just for a couple of minutes, just to heat the can. Uh, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray all down here. Yeah, just to give it that little bit of extra protection. Comes out pretty good. I can't do it with one hand, so I'm gonna have to let you go. I'm on the final leg now. Um, something I've discovered just as you go around is you don't have to unscrew that screw here, right? It seems to work on a little catch, yeah? And I'll show you, come around here, into my workshop. Works on a little catch like that. So all you have to do, instead of unscrewing that, because it is difficult, if you undo everything and then just give it a push, this here, it will just it will just slide out like that. Okay? 
uh, to save you all the grief of trying to get that screw out. Okay, this is the last one, the rear at the back, all sicker flexed. Put me little uh, milk carton rings on the uh, side, uh, fit that, and that's it, it's done. So, excellent. Now, after that, nobody knows more about putting these things on than I do. Not even Donald. Nobody knows the system better than me. Um, so it's all done, it's all sealed uh, and everything else. I can start putting the um, insulation in now uh, and hopefully I won't have anything to worry about. Um, but it is worth doing. A um, lot of rat knuckles where you're, you're getting it in and things, you know, it's not, it is fairly easy after you get to the last one, you sort of get the gist of how you're doing it. But uh, um, yeah, that little screw thing, forget that, what I said at the start. If you just pull off from the other end, get to that end and just slide it, it slides out it's so much easier. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for, for this one. It was only a quickie. I apologise about the um, tripod and that. There's not a lot I could do about it. Um, I wanted to get this done today because it was such a nice day. But uh, I'll get the wife to buy me uh, a Christmas present, new tripod, and then we can get on from there. So thanks very much. Take care. See you on the next one.